I feel we are moving into a season unlike any that any of us have ever experienced. I believe what God has been doing for the past not three or four or five years, 30 or 40 years, has been to prepare us to equip, position, uh, coordinate, orchestrate things in the church for what we are about to step into now. I believe we are moving into our finest hour. I do. I believe we're moving into the greatest outpouring of Holy Spirit in history. I believe we'll see more souls saved in the next couple of decades than we've seen in the last 2,000 years. I do. I believe we're going to see entire nations come to Christ. I believe God's going to save America. I believe he's going to restore us to our roots, our righteous roots, and that we will accomplish what he wants and needs for us to accomplish. When the Lord came to me in 2000 and visited me with really what I've come to understand was a mantle that he was placing on me, and though uh, it really had been probably, well, in some ways, I sort of say a 10-year process. It was really probably about a 50-year process, but because he, the way he works with us from birth, but, but when he came to me that night, at one point, he spoke to me very, very clearly, as clearly as I've ever heard him, and he said, I must have America. For what I'm about to do in the earth, I must have America. And you're going to help me get her. And God has an army now. He has a prayer army. He has a, a remnant of believers that understand his ways enough to cooperate with him. He has a, a remnant that understands what it means to be the ecclesia. He has a remnant that understands what it means to be a part of a company that represents all five gifts of Christ to the church, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. And he says in that passage in Ephesians 4, when that happens or through those things, I'm paraphrasing saying when it happens, because he says through those giftings, we can reveal to the earth the fullness of Christ. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because if you, only have a, uh, if you only have two of his five anointings operating in the church, you can only, re you can only represent or reveal 40% of it. For so long, all we had were pastors and teachers, ev evangelist pastors, and God had the teachers in the 70s, and we had three of the five gifts operating in the church, and 60% of who Jesus is was flowing through us, but then... In the 80s and 90s, he restored the prophet. And then we had four of the five and a greater dimension of Christ's person, his anointing, began to be released in the earth. And then in the 90s and 2000s, he, he restored understanding of the apostolic anointing. And now we have the fullness of the Christ anointings. We're not walking in them at the highest level we will mature in them and move in them at even higher levels, but we are moving in all of them, and we can now, according to that passage, reveal the fullness of Christ in the earth. Let me say it this way. For the first time in centuries, maybe since the early church, the body of Christ has the potential 
of fully revealing who Jesus is to the earth. And we will move in the fullness. So I'm just warming up here. This is not my message. I'll get to that in a minute. But they got me up so early, I feel like I can take an extra 30 minutes up here. So. But we're not only moving in the fullness of his anointings, giftings, we will now mature and move into higher levels of each anointing. Prophets are not yet operating at the full potential of Christ's prophetic anointing. Apostles are not. Teachers are not. What's the fullness of Christ's teaching anointing look like? I'm not really sure. I know I've never seen it, but I can tell you this. When he taught, people sat for days at a time without eating, including children listening to him. I'm not sure what the fullness of his evangelistic, prophetic, apostolic healing anointing looks like, but I can tell you this, the Bible says that myriads of people came to hear him and they were all healed, all of them. So we're going to see the fullness of the Christ anointing manifested in the earth in this hour. And I think from, from this moment on, we, we just go higher and higher, and we follow him more and more, and God has good things in store for us. How many of you follow us on Give Him 15? Let me see your hands. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm just asking because... I want to know who the more spiritual people are in the room. <laughs> the rest of you, don't, don't be terribly embarrassed. <laughs> Join us if you can, Monday through Friday. You can go to GiveHim15.com or to the Give Him 15 app. Or go to YouTube and we do a short devotional and lead in prayer for the nation. And God's really using that. In fact, I, I was shocked um, a few days ago when my staff came to me. And I mean, I was shocked. And said, in 2021, you had 35 million views. I've given 15. Incredible. I had nothing to do with it, by the way. They pushed me into it, and a lady prophesied me into it, and I argued with God all the way. <laughs> How do you take credit for that? <laughs> 